Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 24, part 2 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we basically started up operations here in the Mississippi, observing the towns of New Orleans and the little town of Opelousas, with both a passenger train, a streetcar line, and a wagon convoy delivering loads of cotton to the nearby, well, clothing factory. And in this episode, we're going to continue on doing that as our vehicles keep delivering their loads, as well as route to expand our operations. Now, we'll need to get started on expanding our op line. Thankfully, we can easily bridge over this and then connect to Baton Rouge, which could basically drive passengers away from using the nearby steamboats. We'll have to basically curve a bit to the left. I'll have to also get rid of some of this uh, textures around the track bed. All right. Now, because the ships need a large bridge in order to cross over the Mississippi, well, a bridge tall enough for boats to go under, I'll have to raise my track bed up a bit. I don't think that's actually going to work. I'm probably going to have to backtrack a little and then just restart on building it up. There we go. That should be high enough. Then, after placing down this straight track, we'll build a bridge right over the Mississippi River. Yeah, so the riverboats can easily get under it. Hmm. Because this being our first bridge cross, I think we should actually make it a little more fancy with this girder bridge. Ooh, that's gonna cost a bit of money, so I'll have to take out a bit of another loan. Okay. Do it like that. Produce this bridge. Do that. And that. I'm afraid I'll have to basically get rid of this section as well, because it's kind of in the way of the track bed. Let's see, can I maybe try basically... Yeah, that will work a lot better. And now the track is safely on the other side. As for the bridges, let's see, we'll need two lines of track, high position for, let's go for a stone brick yellow because of the color of the, of the stone that's in the map. We'll place these down along the river. And also do the same for this as well. There we go. All we have to do now is just basically roll over to the left a bit, place down a cross buck, And then, let's get started on placing down a station here in Baton Rouge. Because of this size, we'll have to basically make it about 360. We'll place the station there. And lay down the tracks for that. We'll 
then place down the tracks for the path for the local commuter trains to enter. To leave the main line's tracks clear for both the express trains and the freight trains passing through town. I'll have to take out another loan again. We haven't been making much of a profit recently, but we'll be able to make a profit soon enough. Because all of this is going to basically be very, very expensive. Place down some of these. Alright, Baton Rouge is ready to go. Now we'll place down a row here. Now, one of the things that makes this game different from the original Transport Fever was like Transport Fever and its game before and the game before it trained Fever, every station, every passenger and freight station had a road connection outside of it, meaning that you had to connect it to a nearby adjacent road. But thankfully, that was done away with in this game. So now, the road connections are basically a lot more well established. We'll place down a bus stop here, and have another one here in town. Let's see if we can get as much coverage as possible. We'll get one there, and one here. That way, people will have access to the industrial, commercial, and residential districts. I'll basically level the ground here. And we'll get started on laying down some more track to connect with the rest of the main line. We'll basically do this. And this will be a 50 mile an hour switch. Oh, I actually forgotten something. I'll have to take these platforms down though. But, however, it will be very, very important in the long run. As, why would I want to have a generic passenger station along my railroad? So, as I take these down, I'll show you what I have planned for many of the stations serving these towns along the main. I'll add that. And get a delete another track piece. There we go. Now Let's place down the Mad Hatter platforms, the wooden ones, and place it right beside the track. And for passenger buildings, we will you be using this, the Deadwood Passenger Station, which, once placed, will basically look very, very perfect for, well, a railroad. Though, you will have to basically place it in a good spot to make it look symmetrical. Also, for my passengers to cross over from the main line station to, well, this one, I'll have to place down some walk. I'll have to place these down, these wooden pedestrian crossings. So passengers can easily cross over from the main station to whatever platform they need to catch their trains on. We're also going to get rid of just place, well, just get rid of the roof that was near that and place these roofs down here. There we go. Now that the station Baton Rouge is done, we could basically continue on this way. 61 to 62 miles an hour. On these curves. We'll lower it down here for a bit. Raise this track up. 
And like we did in the Seamall map, we'll just leave it as it is with a single track entrance. We'll reconnect with the main line here. And then do this. Double slip switch it. And then we'll basically make this area a connection from the main line to either the lines to the to the middle of the map or to the to the right side of the map. But since we don't have access to those areas just yet, we'll just have to stick to what we have. We'll make a curved track there and connect this here. Now, it's gonna be I'm gonna get started on placing down my signals, so I'll see you all in just a moment and we'll get back into the mode well into the game once the signals are placed. And we're back. Now with the signals all placed, we can now get started on some new operations to connect the town of Baton Rouge to the main line. Considering we'll be starting off with a local passenger service, let's see, we'll be departing New Orleans Central Station on track 4, and you'll be entering Baton Rouge on track 2. This will be known as Local Passenger... Passenger train A, as usual. This will be light gray. Actually, let's make it a lot simpler and make it white. Now, you might notice the custom colors option. This was a new thing that was added into the update. If you press shift on a color, you could basically select on any color you want. Like, for example, if you really want a nice, you know, bright pink or magenta, you could do that. You could even go for a super dark red or a super white, stuff like that. It's endless. But anyway, we'll need to get started on a new passenger service along the branch. Thankfully, we got a couple of these steam engines available. So, we'll use one of the Union Pacific's wood burning 440s, painted black to basically match the time period because these passenger locomotives were starting to show these colors at that time. But at the same time, we should also add a bit of an RPO car as well, a combination car, and a few coaches. That will give us to a total of 11.7 million dollars to buy, which we could easily take out another loan for. We'll also need another loan to take out, well, a new pass, a new set of vehicles to operate on that uh, bus route in Baton Rouge. But yeah, I think local train A could easily do well from leaving uh, New Orleans Station. Traveling on the east left side towards the Mississippi. I could also use the others for the track going in the middle and the tracks going to the right. And New Orleans Station actually has 57 passengers waiting to board, which is great. Actually, I think it's better if I just leave the little motor as it is. Alright, now with the local passenger service up and running, we can now get started on our new bus route. Well, actually, a new carriage route. You know what I mean. This will be known as Bus Service A. And this one will basically just connect the station and travel, take people into either the industrial district, well, the industrial and commercial districts, and one that takes them to the residential districts. We'll be using four of these stagecoaches, as I have no intentions of operating an inner city uh, bus service as of now. Although our local trains can only go at a maximum of 45 miles an hour, that is basically fine for the time period. However, we we'll do need to get started on producing food here soon. Now, the New Orleans food processing plant requires either grain, corn, or dairy or milk. 
milk can be picked up from these farms. However, they need corn to produce these foods. And corn can be picked up at some of the farms. However, most of these corn farms, as well as these wheat farms, are, are very far off in the northern part of the map. So, we'll have to wait a while until we're able to basically, well, get something like that. However, our branch line passenger service is actually doing pretty well and profitably. And I think some of my vehicles could use a bit of a repair makeover. Thirteen passengers already. Though, one of the good thing is that the town of Memphis has a lot of industries we can use. We could deliver tobacco to make cigars, we could deliver locks to make some lumber, we could deliver fish, rice, and sugarcane to produce food products. In a lot of the towns along the railroad that we'll be connecting to want food products in their stores. However, we still need concessions in order to operate in these territories, and they're quite exorbitantly expensive. Speaking of which, do we even have... No, it's still not available for some darn reason. I don't know why, but sometimes I think due to the coding or something, I don't really know. Well... The expositional fair is done and nothing happened. Now it's just a park. So we didn't get a medal for that one, sadly. But at least, however, our wagon convoys are still operating. We can still deliver people around New Orleans with those horse drawn, well, trolleys. The New Orleans station is actually be filled up pretty nicely with passengers. Though I feel like it needs a little bit of decoration. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I actually got uh, one of those buildings that I normally use in my free mode maps available. Unless... Oh, here we are. We place down an interlocking tower at many of these larger station junctions. And we'll place down elevated gate towers on many of these railroad crossings because at the time there people had to basically flag traffic down as trains reached and departed each crossing. There will be one on every crossing on the entirety of my railroad, just for safety's sake. And of course, uh, oh, you've got to be joking, the crossing is not perfectly straight. Great. Ugh. Alright, that should do it. We'll place down a... Let's see, what kind of whistle post did I use? Did I use the standard whistle one? Yeah, I just used the standard tall concrete whistle post. Place one there, place one there, and I'll have to place down some new signals. Alright. That should basically do it for now. But my wagon convoys are full to the brim with cotton, and once those clothing has been made, it will be delivered to the various towns once we start connections. However, I feel like we'll also gotta get started on connecting some freight business as well. For one, these rice farms could be very profitable once we deliver the rice to the Memphis food processing plant. We'll just curve this track here, and connect it to this, here. Press slip switch there, 
and place down one of these disk signals on this branch line. that there. Let's see. And then we'll just do a little bit of a loop so the farm can be connected to there. However, if I want to connect this uh, rice farm to the main line, I just actually forgotten to place this down here. Louisiana, the bio state. Your progress does not go unnoticed. The state of Louisiana is asking you a favor transport food to the nearby town of Opelousas. However, as food resources are scarce in Louisiana, you need to import it from another state. In order to build there, you need to get the concession first. To do so, click on the exclamation mark above the government building of a certain state. Now with that done, we can now start expanding. However, we can these concessions will often cost an arm and a leg, so I'll have to start building up money by delivering cotton as well as transporting passengers around. However, I feel like it's better if I start doing a little bit more connecting. I could easily take out a loan and then just repay once I earn enough money. We'll have to place some of these signals down along this branch. But it will at least allow the connections from this rice farm onto the main line. Now then, let's see. The state of Mississippi. 7 million credits. Well, I could easily take out a loan from the bank to basically acquire those state those concessions. But I might as well carry out some extra so I can start expanding the line. Mississippi, the hospitality state and birthplace of America's music. The governor welcomes you and asks you to transport white wine to Jackson, the capital of Mississippi. All right. One of our first tasks is to also is to connect to the town of Jackson and deliver white wine. But the town of Jackson also wants oil as well. However, we could also start cutting into the business of the rival railroad by connecting into Brookhaven. And we also have an access to a new commodity, fish. But let's basically set up a set of lines to basically better compete with the railroad. We'll build a track here to allow trains to basically travel this way to the, to the far right side of the map. Then we'll basically set up another switch to allow trains to travel through the straight edge of the map. Thankfully, these towns along this side haven't been connected. So this could basically be a very profitable venture. Hmm. Okay. We could connect into Hattiesburg. There's access to a farm there, but we need to deliver loads of corn to produce meat and dairy products. see. We'll place a crossing on this side, in this town, but build a bridge over if we're trying to connect to Natchez. But I also want to build a connection to allow trains to travel to either the, to continue going straight, go to the left, or go to the right. So we'll just place a station here in Brookhaven for now and get rid of the platforms and the station building to place down the Deadwood station buildings.
Alright. We'll do it here as well. Oop, I forgot to do the crossover pieces. Those there as well. And finally... Place down another set of these Mad Hatter platforms. That should do it. We'll also do this and this. Place down some roofs for my passengers so they don't have to worry about the rain. We'll basically build a freight station going up, down towards New Orleans as. Since there's a food factory located here in Memphis, as well as up in Chicago, which is right here, I feel like any food trains going down that way will just have a station ending up in the town. We'll need to place down a bit of a road here as well to connect the station into the town itself. We'll place this here and place one there. Place down a bit of a road depot, and then we'll basically reconnect this section to the main line. Okay, let's see. We're kind of limited on where we can place our curves, so. We're just going to put it right there. Forty miles an hour. And we'll basically do this here and here. down there and then basically reconnect the main line here albeit without a large tunnel yep there we go all right we'll place down a couple more signals along this new section the midwest section well the mid the midland line as I'll be calling this and then we'll get started on placing this station in Hattiesburg in the next episode so we got a little bit of good accomplished so I feel good. So, other than that, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!